literacy researchers who also call on the tools of critical discourse analysis often use this tripart schema that um, Fairclough proposes of describing, interpreting, and explaining social practices. But in fact, I would like to propose that we add a fourth dimension to that, which is um, action. Mm. And that, that action becomes essential part in how we think about the life of our work as literacy researchers, in particular who are doing discourse analysis, but that, that um, as we identify moments of social transformation, um, as we mindfully um, and planfully engage diverse publics in engaging in discourse analysis with us, we make a plan for going public with what we're finding, um, and that can become um, part of the of the of the public record um, rather than waiting for a study to be published we're actually um, intervening in in the public sphere as it unfolds so this question of how do we as literacy researchers work in solidarity and build coalitions with communities i'd like us to think about um, building coalitions within the academic community um, and in particular, the actions that we can take within our own work as scholars and um, really interrupting what folks have talked about in terms of citation segregation, which speaks to a larger epistemological problem about the recognition of scholarship of scholars of color and scholars from the Global South. And I think that when we think about building coalitions, that coalition work happens within the parentheses of who we're citing and in our bibliographies of who we're citing. I recently went to a few talks that were more or less on similar topics in literacy research. And one was by a scholar who identifies as white. One was by a scholar who identifies as African-American. And what was striking to me is that the scholar who identifies as white, all of the references were scholars who were other white scholars. And the scholar who is African American, all of the scholars were people of color. And I, I just think that that's a profound, if for me it was a profound example of the ways in which as an academic community, we're not um, doing the work to build coalitions within the literacy research community and how important it is to challenge ourselves to read beyond what's familiar to ourselves, to take that extra step and to look through our bibliographies and to think about who am I leaving out? Who am I citing? Who should I be citing? Who else is in this conversation that I need to know but that I don't know? You know, as we think about sustaining coalitions, as we think about sustaining um, um, relationships um, at, in our work as literacy researchers and teacher educators, that I think that positive discourse analysis holds a whole bunch of potential for um, identifying moments that we like, you know, moments that, um, that represent social transformation, that represent um, love, that represent um, interracial alliances, and pausing those and looking more carefully at discourse practices that we, that we like so that we can get better at building those um, in our work.